Hi everybody, this is Lisa and it's time for another verbally in class. It's 9 p.m. Pacific time. I am in Washington State, so uh, that's my time. It might be obviously a different time for you. So um, we're going to start this class. It's going to be a writing class. So if you are interested in improving your writing in English, now is a good class to uh, practice that. Um, I have put a link already in the verbaling chat, but let's see, did I put it there? I will put it again and we can uh, get started. If you see the green join class button, then go ahead and click on that. Um, that's how you get into the class. Hi, Jose, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm doing well. Welcome to the class. Thank you. And uh, Francisco is joining us, and Yosef, hi there, welcome. Uh, looks like people are going to start joining. It's just now 9, 9.01, so the class is just uh, getting started. If you see the green Join Class button, then you can click on that, and then you will be added into the Google Hangout here. Um, I see, and Doni, how come you don't have a mic? What happened to your microphone? Um, anyways, if you do have a microphone and it's working, then come on in because uh, how the writing classes work is that I have prepared a Google Doc that has um, some questions or some prompts and um, you will each have an opportunity to do some writing and then as you finish up with your writing for each of the questions, then you'll let me know that you're ready and then you can read through what you wrote and then I will make corrections and in this way you can um, see what needs to be improved in your writing so um, this is this is the type of a class that is really good for people especially who are needing to uh, write in English whether it be emails or letters or um, actual reports maybe for a job or for your career or actually to take tests also um, if you're trying to pass the TOEFL exam for example um, which I know some people who have been in my other verbaling classes are working on. So um, let's see, I'm just going to let everybody come in here and see how many people we get in. We can have up to nine people in the Google Hangout. And once we have um, that amount of people, then we, um, we can't have any more. That's the limit. And so you can still participate if you want to by uh, typing in the verbaling chat. That's a good way. Uh, to talk to other people during the class and also to ask questions and to you know ask for clarifications things like that if you need me to repeat something or you do not understand something that I'm saying please um, ask either just use your microphone and speak and ask me or um, ask in the verbaling chat okay looks like uh, we got people have found the Google Doc so I will give the link one more time here before we get started. There's the link. So if you go to the Verbling chat and you click on that link, it should open up a Google document for you. And I made it so that this document is editable. So that means that you will be able to write on that page, that you, on the window that you just opened in that document. Um, the way we do the writing class is underneath there's a question and I highlighted it tonight with yellow so that's the prompt that's what you need to write about and um, you just pick a spot underneath that and you type in your name and then you start writing what you want to write and everybody can choose to write as much or as little as you want it's really up to you we have you know, an hour in the class, so we try to do as much writing as we can. So um, in the past couple of writing classes, I haven't been able to get to all of the students at the very end. There was some, but I try to finish it up later so you'll see it um, anyway, so you'll get your corrections. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're probably full. If there's one more spot left and you want to join in, now's the time to click on the Join Class button. So before we get started, I just want to quickly do some introductions. 
So I will introduce myself first, and then I will ask each student to introduce themselves, saying your name and uh, where you're from. And some of the students are returning, and so we are familiar with students like Yosef, for example. And so um, we're getting to know each other, so that's pretty nice. Okay, yes, Andoni, you can write if you want to in the Google Doc. Um, okay, so my name is Lisa. I'm one of the many Verbling teachers. I try to do a class or two most days. Um, so you'll see me. Um, I'm like I said, I live in Washington State in the Pacific Northwest, and I have different times available. So sometimes my classes are in the morning, sometimes they're later in the night um, for my time. Um, so I have three kids, and I also own a cafe. So I do other things um, besides uh, teaching verbling classes. Um, so that's when you'll see me. If you want to find out when my classes are, you can go to my uh, verbling teacher page and see when I have some more classes and also you can do that for every other teacher as well. Okay, why don't we start with Yosef over here on my right. Tell us your name and where you're from. Just, just because I might be saying it wrong or differently, that's why I ask you to also introduce yourself. Well, um, <laughs> hi Lisa. Hi there. Uh, my, <laughs> my name is Yosef and I'm from Yemen. Okay, Yemen. That's it. Yes. Thank you. And yeah, yeah, I can see it in my uh, picture in you design. <laughs> yes, I, I see. Are, are you designing all those different pictures that you put up? Yeah. Oh, cool. What, what program are you using? You know, some different programs and just, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah it just came, yeah. came in clear. Yeah. Okay, neat. Uh, Yada, are you there? Hello, Lisa. Hi there. Hi, I'm here. Great. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? Excellent. I'm awesome. Happy to be here with you. Great. Well, welcome. Welcome. Why don't you tell everybody where you're from? I'm from Mexico. Okay. Great. And just now, next to you, came in uh, Rosie. Are you there? Rosie or Rosie? Hmm. Divin? Rosie Divin? Are, are you there? Davin? Okay, if you're there, um, say hi. I'm going to go on to uh, Nien. Are you there? How do you say your name? Nien Bao? Yes. Hi. Hi, uh, my name is Ngong. I come from Vietnam. Okay, Ngong. Oh. Yes. Ngong, is that how you say it? Ngong? Uh, Ngong. Ngong? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work with me. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks. And Jose? Hello. Hi. I'm from Venezuela, teacher. I'm a student. Okay, uh, wonderful. So, thank you. Uh huh. And Hung, are you there? Is it yes, Hung? I'm here. Hi. I'm from Vietnam too. Oh, great. Yeah. Wonderful. Nice uh, to meet have, you. have you um, done any verbling classes before? Uh, this is the first time I'm joining verbling classes. Okay, well, great. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. They're, they're all different. So, this one is a writing class, but you. Um, we sometimes I do speaking classes, conversation, reading, all different types of classes. So, yes. welcome, Francisco. Are you there? Hello. I, yes, I'm here. Hello. This is Francisco from Mexico City, and this is my first time to be in your class. I think okay. it's excellent. Great. Awesome. Well, welcome. Thanks for Thank coming. Thank you. It's a little bit later over there where you are, huh? In Mexico City. Um, in Mexico City, it is uh, eleven o'clock. Yeah. Okay, yeah, two hours different. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and Efren. Efren. Hello. Efren. Hello. Hi. I am Efren. So uh, I am from El Salvador. Okay, wonderful. Welcome. Okay, and I'm going to go back over here to um, Rosie. Are you there? Did you get your microphone to work? 
Let me know if you get your microphone to work because um, to be able to participate in the class you have to have your microphone working so that you'll be able to read uh, what you wrote. Okay, are you, are you back now? And is your microphone working? Okay, all right. Well, I guess he has a bad connection going. So uh, there might be one space left if somebody wants to join in. In the meantime, I want to get started, and I'll review again how this works for people who are new. I'm going to change this to the screen share now so everybody can uh, see what we're doing instead of looking at me. <laughs> so this, um, if you look at my screen, we'll be able to see that people are writing. So as you can see, um, people are already getting started. So the first question, I'll read the directions here. The directions are answer these questions in writing. When you are done with each one, we, each question, let me know. And I will have you read your paragraph, and then I will make corrections. So the first question here is highlighted in yellow. It says, if you could change one important thing about your country, what would you change? Use reasons and specific examples to support your answer. So that's the first question. And you can put your name and then get started writing. And when you're done, just let me know. So I see that uh, Yosef has got started, Jose, uh, Young, Young, Yada. OK, you guys are all getting started. If you haven't started yet, just find a place. You can go um, under where Yada wrote her name and just put your uh, click, click on the page. And that will give you a cursor. And then you can type your name. Like I'm typing my name right now. You can probably see it. And then you just uh, start typing. And then I will be able to see where uh, your writing is. So when, when you're ready for corrections, then I will be able to make the corrections there. Does anybody have any questions? No. OK. So, uh, oh, Zachar, are you here? Hi, Zachar. See if she get her microphone. Hello. Oh. Hi there. How are you? He's fine. How about you? I'm doing well. Welcome. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the link again in the verb link chat so everybody can get to the Google document. It does. I do see that it says 11 people are viewing it. So. If you're watching and you want to write, go ahead and pick a place and then start writing. And um, in this class, the main thing is to just make sure that you are not um, erasing anybody's stuff. I'm going to just move people down a little bit like that. And if you are writing, then you will be moving other people's uh, stuff down so you won't write over it. That's fine. So, Jose, are you ready? Uh, yes, I think. Okay. Well, if you're done writing, then um, you can go ahead and read to me what you wrote, and then I then I will make any corrections as necessary. Okay. So. Okay. I I would change the poverty of my country. There is a lot of poor poor people here, so that poverty leads some people to tend uh, some people tend to steal, and that's why this country is so insecure. Those are the principal problems about Venezuela, and I'd really like that my country changed in that in that aspect. Okay. All right. So I would say I would change the poverty um, in my country um, because if you were talking about poverty of my country, then you would be talking about how poor your country is versus the poverty that actual people that live in your country are poor. All right. Okay. So that, that would be the difference. Um, there is a lot of, I would put, uh, there are a lot of poor people here, and that poverty leads some people to steal, and that's why this country is so um, insecure, means more like you, you don't feel good about yourself. 
<laughs> so I would say unsafe. Um, those are the principal principal problems that Venezuela. Um, let's see. Those are the principal uh, principal. This is the problem. It's principal problems um, in Venezuela, and I'd really like that my country change in that aspect. Oops, I got the E there. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Uh, yes. Why why do you use in instead of about Venezuela? Um, those are the principal problems in Venezuela. Because the the way that I'm getting the sense of when you if you say in Venezuela, it's like what's happening within the country. Um, and so you're talking about what's actually going on inside of the country with the people. If you were talking about Venezuela, um, oh. yeah. Oh yes, I, I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, because it would be more about Venezuela. Would be again about more like uh, the country in general, not specifically the actual people in the country. You know. Yeah. 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 That's, that's right. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay, so um, you can scroll down and, and go to the next question down there. There's, I, I have four different questions, so okay. if you want to go work on the next one. And is anybody else ready and would like me to read it, uh, correct it? Mine is, I think I'm ready. This is a smart target. Okay. Joseph, go ahead and read. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I just read it, so go ahead. <laughs> Actually, there is nothing I want to change about my country except the whole nation, including the rulers and, polit and the politicians. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nothing you want to change about your country except the whole nation including the rulers and the politicians etc okay so tell me more about that so you like your country but you don't like the rulers of your country yeah kind of like um, recently we had an evaluation in, in my country and uh, after, the, after this evaluation has been successfully done. There is other evaluation come which is called anti-evaluation which is against the previous mm. one. So everything is getting mixed so I don't know who's wrong, who's right, which side <laughs> I should be. So I decide like if I want to think that something change the whole nation with the rulers leave the country safe. That's it. Yeah. So what, Hello. what yes. Was that you Yala? Who's that? Hello, may I Oh, Zahra, you ready? Yeah, because I also I also wrote the answer, you know, uh, about my country because I would like to change first a politician because they are carrying my country down. They are not very sincere about your, uh, you know, people and also, you know, uh, I think they don't love, uh, you know, uh, to my country. It's just making money. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy about our, you know, uh, government. Yeah. So you're talking about the government of Pakistan? Yeah, of course. Our politicians okay. are very crazy. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I wrote here, I would like to change the politicians because they are bringing my country down. And then what did you want to say here? This is really what? Uh-oh. Dangerous? I, I, or? This is the correct carrying down. Yes, bringing bringing my country down. If you're bringing, bringing. something, down, yeah, bringing. So uh, <laughs> that means carry uh, carry down is wrong. Okay, okay, I yeah. got it. Yeah, bringing you. bringing you down. You could say that too. Like if um, like for example, if you're talking about a company and the new CEO is not doing a very good job, and the company is um, not doing very well because of his decisions. Somebody could say he's bringing our company down, like he's he's tearing okay. a, he's tearing us down. It's because of him. So 
that's what you're meaning when you're talking about the politicians not um, caring about the people and the country and, and just doing what they want to do kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you want to say something after that where you said this is really something? Zahara, did you want to say something else in writing? Nope. Okay. Okay, who else is ready to go? Me. You? Francisco. Francisco, okay. Paco. Paco. Okay, uh, I would like to change my president, Enrique Peña Nieto, uh -huh. because here in Mexico, the government is still the president. The president's was a fraud, therefore I am very sad for to say it. Mm -hmm. There are many corruption here in Mexico and I hope that in the future Mexico can change with other presidents. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would like to change my president Enrique Peña Nieto because here in Mexico the government, I would say stole, the past tense, stole the presidency um, period. Yeah, it was a fraud, and you could uh, do it like that, exclamation point there, because it's like you have uh, a lot of feelings about it. Therefore, um, I'm very sad, and you would say about it. Uh, about it. Yeah, sad about it. There is a lot of corruption. I would say in Me if you want Mexico, uh, and I hope that in the future Mexico w um, can change, can uh, I would say have another president <laughs> or a different president or something. Yeah. How long is he going to be president? In fact, uh, Enrique Peña Nieto don't speak English and. I think it will be president. He he, he must be learn English and is mm. an important person. And I am yeah. very sad for to say it. And Mexico, I don't like my country. You don't like the government right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if you read the newspaper and to to know about Mexico. Yeah, I know. I've been to Mexico a couple of times, but I haven't lately been following the politics in Mexico, but I did watch something because I was when I was studying my French. <laughs> I actually watched something on the French news and I heard about the election and who won and um and that it was um not very well received that a lot of people did not think that he should have won. Okay. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is anybody else ready for me to read and make corrections? And uh, Paco, you can go on down to uh, the next question. It's uh, if you just scroll down there. Oh, look who's there. Mod's there. Good. Anybody else ready? I did a uh, Yosef, Jose, and Paco, and ha Hung. Are you ready? Oops, I think he dropped out. Okay. I think Hung dropped out. If you want to um, join in, there's room. So if you want to click on the green join class button, you can. If you want to, Imad, I know you're writing here. I will correct what he wrote here. In my country, learning English is quite difficult because some schools have uh, low quality teachers and the government needs to do more to improve education in Vietnam. Okay. Yada, are you ready? Yada, are you there? Do you want to read? 
Hello? Yes. Okay. Um, I live in a wonderful country, but my country is sick as a result of its corrupt governments. Mm -hmm. In Mexico, around 40% lives in extreme poverty. The social programs never have worked, and the politics always keep it with the money, but this country has the most wonderful things, its people. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I live in a wonderful country, but my country is sick as a result, and I would put, um, of the corrupt government. Mex in Mexico, around 40% of people live in extreme poverty. The social programs never have worked. The, politi uh, the politicians always keep the money, but this, okay, period, but this country has the most wonderful things, its people. Okay. Efrain, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Why don't you read for me? Okay. If I could change change something in my country, I will change the education system. I think education is one of the main important things that can to develop a country. Okay. If I could change something in my country, and I would put a comma there instead of a period, I would change the education system, period. I think education is one of the main important things that a country, whoops, that a country, I would put should develop, since it's what you think should be happening. Okay? Okay, thank you. Thank yeah, you. sure. So you, people can start working on the second question, which I see some people are. And let's see, I have still hung. Do you want? Or oh, I know I did that. Indira, is, is Indira in the class? No. Rossi, are you in there? Are you writing? Okay. Gong. Gong. Gang. Okay, how do I say it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, very difficult for you. Yeah, say um, it again. But say it more. Yes. You don't worry because uh, most of the um, teacher on the blim, uh, can't call my name exactly. Okay, tell me again mm -hmm. so I can learn it. Nang. Nang? Yes, it's very good. <laughs> okay, Nang. Yes. No, see if I can remember. Okay, Nang. Okay, you want to read? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Are you going to read? Yes. Uh, I really want to change country's education. I know this problem is uh, very difficult and it's not easy to change. Honestly, in Vietnam, we only study about something which is uh, mentioned in textbook. We don't uh, study about skills of life, such as uh, first air. You know, this, um, these uh, skills help you a lot in your life. Example, when an accident happens uh, and some people is uh, injured mm -hmm. on the road, Mm -hmm. uh, we tell them now how to kill them as fast as I knew. Therefore, I feel unself confident when I go camping with my friends. I hope in Vietnam we have a lot of programs like code movement, scouting. If this thing will happen, I will study to become a good scout. Okay, great. All right, so I'll make a few changes here. I really want to change. I would say my country's education um, system. I know this problem is very difficult and it's not easy to change. Honestly, in Vietnam, we only study about something which is mention, mentioned in textbooks, period. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Let's see, we don't study about um, skills of life. Um, usually in in America we say we don't study uh, life skills, skills good, such yeah. as first aid. You know these skills help you a lot in your life. Example, when an accident happens and um, some somebody is injured or drowns, we seldom know how to cure them, comma, as far as I know. Therefore, I feel, um, uh, I would, you could say I don't, I don't feel confident when I go camping with my friends. I hope in Vietnam uh, we will have a lot of programs like oops, like the scout movement or scouting. If this will happen, I would put um, then I will study to become a Girl Scout. Okay. Yes. Great. Thank you. Okay, so you're welcome. Yeah, so if you want to go ahead and go down to the next question and continue writing down there, have some more chances. Okay, let's see. Where are we now? Anybody ready? I'm going to read Indira because maybe um, I don't think Indira is in the class. Hi, please check my writing. Is correct or wrong? I have no microphone. Please. Okay, Indira, I'm going to correct yours. I would like to change... Uh, the poverty and the way um, the education system in my country. If the people are educated, comma, then they can understand all the situations as well, and they are also able to do. Okay, then they can understand all the situations, and they will be able to do something for the country. Um, my country needs development and it's not possible without education. Education can make the people strong and thoughtful. It's really true that education is only the key, the key that can open all the doors in our lives. Okay, I'm going to say Education is the only key that can open all the doors in our life. Okay, good. All right. So I think everybody who wanted to write for the first one is done, and we have people who are writing on the second one. Yosef, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and read. Well, um, I didn't talk that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, let me reread what the question is. <clears throat> it says, what are some important qualities of a good school teacher? Use specific details and examples to explain why these qualities are important. All right, you get one sentence. Um, okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I didn't talk about qualities, but um, I didn't <laughs> talk about what I like in teacher. I mean, That's fine. Teacher, yeah, well, uh, I like a teacher who has a sense of humor, treats you as a friend, and hang out with you sometime. Okay. And, uh, I didn't say example, but um, I don't know. Okay, we'll take you as an example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so I like a teacher who has a sense of humor, Treats you as a friend and hangs out with you some time. All right, you could put some times actually. So, did you have any good teachers when you were young, younger, Yosef? Yeah, um, yeah, that was one good thing. Most of my teachers like uh, was very good, like uh, on, on these features. That I... Did you have? Um, Female teachers or male teachers or both? Well, um, no, males, all of them. All of them, yeah. And when you, when you went to school, was it all boys or mixed with girls? 
No, all boys. All boys. Is that the most common form of uh, education in Yemen for uh, boys' schools and then girls' schools? Yeah, uh, yeah. only on, on, on college there is, uh, they are mixed, but in the schools they are also. Okay. Till the, till the sixth grade, they are uh, uh, like the high school are separated, but first grade to sixth grade, they are mm -hmm. mixed. Oh, okay. All right. Good. Okay, uh, Jose, you ready? Um, yes, uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, the second one, right? Yes, the second one about the teacher. Where are you? Hold on. Yes, right there. Oops, sorry. I think I think that a good teacher is a responsible, polite, and patient teacher that has a complete knowledge about what he teaches and with the ability to transmit his knowledge to his pupils in a good, easy, and clear, uh, clearly, clearly way so they could understand appropriately. Also, the class doesn't have to be boring to the students. <laughs> okay, good. All right, I think that a good teacher is responsible, polite, and patient. Um, a good teacher has a complete knowledge about what he teaches and the ability to transmit his knowledge to his pupils in a good, easy, and clear way so they can understand um, appropriately. Mm, I'd probably say here completely <laughs> or something like that. They can understand yeah. uh, completely, or you can say, or so they can understand, you know, what he's trying to teach them. Also, comma, the class doesn't have to be boring to the students. Okay, were your classes boring when you were younger? Mm, Let's say, yeah. What class? What type of classes did you like best? Well, I liked the biology classes because hmm. the teacher was very funny and explained, explained like uh, in a funny way. Yeah. And students uh, could learn everything and it was an easy way. Yeah. Yeah. To teach. Cool. All right. Good. Okay, Paco, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Why don't you read? Okay. I think the, the, the attitude of the teacher is very important to be enthusiast, enthusiastic. I don't know if en the enth word enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Uh -huh. oh, thank you. And the other thing that I think is a good skill for the teacher, his knowledge, and to do the class very interesting. Um, formulate problems. I think we learn with problem because it's very interesting to resolve them. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I think the attitude of the teacher is very important. Um, period. It, I would say it is important to be enthusiastic. Um, period. Let's see. The other thing is that I think um, a good skill for a teacher is to um, I would say to I know what you're trying to say his knowledge is to know his subject very well and yeah, to uh, make the class very interesting and to formulate problems for the students. I think we learn with problems because it is very interesting uh, to solve them. To solve okay? them. Yeah, okay. to solve them. Yep, Thank good. you a lot. Of yeah, you're welcome. Okay, Imad, are you in the Google Hangout? Enrique, 
Enrique, are you there? Some people have joined in the Hangout. I wasn't paying attention, so if you want to, uh, you can be writing on the Google Doc, and when you're done, let me know, and then you will be able to read what you wrote, and then I will make the corrections. Okay, so... Yeah, I have done. Okay, let's see, where... Oh, yeah, Zahara, okay, go ahead. Yeah. In my point of view, teachers should be honest their responsibilities and sincere about the student future. And most important thing, they should be present on the time, you know, in class, mm -hmm. regular basis, uh, and take the subject seriously to teach uh, to the student. Make their self polite, and uh, yeah, polite for mm -hmm. for for the kids so that uh, student love them actually student adopt their attitude for uh, you know for mm -hmm. them be careful mm -hmm. okay let me see here okay so I will just make a few corrections in my point of view uh, a teacher should be honest yeah yeah in their responsibilities a response uh, yeah, I know I'm very bad in, you know, writing. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, that's why you're here. Responsibilities and sincere about the students, uh -huh. I would say, uh, students' future, period. The most yes, important students. thing okay. is that they should be present in the Post class. Coffee? What? The, po the most important thing is that they should be present in the class regularly. Yeah, because I was asking... Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Take the subject seriously. No, no, okay. Okay, to teach the students. Um, they... Uh, I should... They should be polite... Oops. To the kids so that the students... Love them. And then you could say, actually, students uh -huh. adopt their attitude so they have to be careful. Okay? Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I want, because I was asking too, you wrote here is students, uh, but I wrote, uh, you know, the students. Uh huh, okay. Yeah. This My teacher should be honest in the response and sincere about this. I was thinking so, that would be plural. Little? So if you were talking about one student and you were talking about his future, you would say that student's future. If you have more than one, then it would be talking about all of the student's future. You would put it like that. Okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Now okay. got it. Sure. Okay, let's see. Jose Paco... All right. Looks like some people aren't working on the second one. Some people are working on the third one, though. I'm just moving it down. If you want to be working on the second question, just go find a place under Paco here, and you can start working on the second question. Okay, and Imad, I'm going to uh, work on yours in a minute here. Is anybody who's in the um, Google Hangout ready for me? To listen, do you want to read? Well, I Could you correct me? Yes. Okay, hold on. Rosie, are you there? Yes. Uh, okay. How do I? How do you say your name? Rosie. Rosie. Okay. Where are you from? Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay. Okay. Why don't you um, read yours? This is um, to number three. Sorry. Why don't you read what you wrote for number three? Many people say that the internet is the most important invention, important invention ever. Do you agree or disagree with this? Okay, so you wrote. I agree. Wh okay, go ahead. Read what you wrote. <clears throat> I agree with that statement, and I think the internet is a brilliant human invention ever. In 1999, but many people knew and used the internet, but in 
2000 until now, you can look the internet is being a favorite and gives a lot of important knowledge, news, etc. Year by year, it grows up and always appears with new technologies. We can talk with people in all the world. We can download everything we need, and times is no matter again. If in the past we only could speak with someone by voices, but now we can talk with them with videos and voices at once. We can do anything in anywhere and every time. I think internet is very cool and give us something good and bad effect, depending how we are using it. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, make some corrections here. I agree with that statement, and I think the internet is brilliant. Um, is a brilliant, uh, well, if you wanted to say ever, you would say is the most brilliant human invention ever. In 1999, not many people knew about or used the internet, but in 2000, I would say from from 2000 until now, you can um, see that the internet is being um, a favorite. Um, do you mean that people really like it? Is becoming, I would say, becoming very popular and gives a lot of important, uh, gives us, I would say, gives us a lot of important knowledge, news, etc. Year by year, it can, I would say, continues to grow and, um, new, let's see, I would put this after that, and new technologies appear. We can talk with people all over the world, period. We can download everything we need, and time, what, what do you mean here where you said time is no matter again? Um. Like you can do it many times, or it doesn't take very long, or what did you mean? You don't care about time. Say it again. We don't care about time. Okay. We can down everything, and we don't... Okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. So, and the time doesn't matter. Um, in the past, we could only speak with someone by voice. Uh, I would say by phone, is that what you mean by phone? But now we can talk with them um, with videos and voices at once. We can do anything anywhere and at any time. I think the internet is very cool and gives us something good and um, gives us some good and bad effects depending on how we are using it. Okay, good, great. You have any questions? No. Okay, good. Okay, anybody else ready to read? I'm ready. Jose? Yeah, was, okay. that, was that you? I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I agree with that. The internet is a very important invention because through the internet you can do a lot of different things like searching all type of, all type of information that you would like to know. You can communicate with your father, family to free or free and keep mm -hmm. in contact with them using the social networks and see them by camera or pictures. Also, it has a lot of inter entertaining things to not be bored in your free time. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, good. <clears throat> so I agree with that, period. I would put the period. Oh, why does I do that? The internet is a very important invention because through the internet you can do a lot of different things, like searching all uh, types of information that you would like would like to know. You can com um, to know. Period. You can communicate with. Uh, I would say, family members who are far away for free. 
and keep in contact with them using the social networks and see them um, by camera or you can say or in pictures. Also, uh, calm, I don't know why that period's there. It has a lot of entertaining things uh, so that you are not bored in your free time. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, it's like YouTube. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Paco, are you ready? Yes, I yes I am. Okay. 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 Um, the internet changed my life. It's very helpful. And it's a little in a little worse. I could not live without internet. It's all. Okay. <laughs> the internet I would say since you're making kind of like an emphasis has changed my life. Um, it is very helpful and in a few words I could not live without oops, the internet. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh-huh, you're welcome. Okay, let's see. Imad, how are you? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, I uh, saw that. I saw I'm that finished. you saw a bunch. Yeah, you want to read it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I can't. Okay, I have to try to read it. Uh, teachers' quality are completing each other, but in my opinion, any teacher should have at least good background in his materials and some kind of polite way to control the class. Uh, the first factor is educational method uh, methods that may keep the teacher and students here I write it uh, along with each other but I think it's not appearing hmm. uh, okay and keep the educational process easy and smooth as it could be otherwise the students will won't be able to learn from the teacher and the teacher will suffer in his class hmm. the second factor which will play in the crucial role in the teaching process is how, is how deep can this teacher go in explaining the ideas in his, in his or her class. One uh, of, math, uh, one of uh, my math teachers mm -hmm. at high school, for example, had very impressive teaching uh, talent, mm -hmm. uh, but in but anyone, if anyone asked him to multiply two simple, in, two simple integers, uh, he will won't be able to calculate it without a calculator. It's an, it's unbelievable and very impressing. Hmm. Uh, we, I, I have another. Okay. Finally, we should at least care about our teachers' experience and the uh, uh, and uh, their ability to deliver. To deliver it to the uh, to their student as well. Okay, good. Well, okay, it so a lot of errors, but uh, no, that was a little bit in fast way to complete it at time. That's good. Okay, let's see. The first thing, though, is I want to understand exactly what you're saying. What do you mean when you say the teachers' qualities are compl um, completing each other? Do you mean complementing? Uh. It's kind of completing, so uh, it's kind of a puzzle. If you missed something from it, it will won't be complete uh, uh, as complete picture. So okay. I should say completing each other, so it will add something. Each each one of them is very important. Okay. This is what I mean. Okay. okay. Then I would just start off with. Um, let's see. I would start off with something like um, uh, good teachers have a couple whoops, of important qualities. Does that make sense? Good teachers, or you could say good teachers must have a couple of important qualities. Um, in my opinion, 
any teacher, you can just say a teacher should have at least a good background in his materials and some kind of polite way to control the class. Okay? The first factor is the educational methods that may keep the teacher and um, student let's see that will that okay, will help I would say will help will help yeah yeah the first factor is the educational methods um, or just is the educational method that will help the teacher and student uh, get along with each other and keep the education uh, process easy and smooth as easy and smooth as it could be otherwise students will not be able to learn from the teacher and the teacher will suffer in his class the sec second factor which uh, plays a crucial role in the teaching process is how deep um, can this teacher go in explaining the ideas in his or her class one of my math teachers at high school for example had very impressive teaching talent but if anyone asked him to multiply two simple integers he couldn't calculate it without a, calc a calculator it, it's unbelievable and very I would say it was it was unbelievable and very embarrassing finally we should at least care about our teachers experience and their ability to deliver it to their students as well okay good any questions thank you very much thank you very you're much. welcome okay who's ready to read we only have a few more minutes May in I class read? yeah Zahara go ahead okay yeah, internet. Nowadays, we are taking a lot of information from internet. Really, this is an incredible invention. Uh -huh. What happened? And they make yourself more confident without going out. And also, we can save our time through internet. We can read, talk every, anywhere. Uh, Anytime, in my opinion, without internet, life seems to dark age. Okay. Dark ages. Yeah. Nowadays, we are. I would say nowadays we are getting a lot of advantages from the internet. Period. Okay. Really, okay. comma this incre. I would say is an incredible invention, comma. Uh -huh. But somehow people use it. Um, the wrong way and I would say and they get into some problems with it actually the they waste their time but the majority of people take uh, um, take advantage of it let's see let's take advantage of it in the right way and they make um, themselves I would say themselves more confident without going out and also we can save our time through the internet there it is we can read whoops talk to uh, talk everywhere, anytime. In my opinion, without the internet, life would seem to, <laughs> I would say, uh, would seem to resemble the dark ages. <laughs> okay. Good. <Okay. laughs> Great. Okay, does anybody could else you tell want to me read? Yes. Uh, Go ahead. I have a question. Yes. Uh, you write here. Yeah, yeah uh, resemble. Okay, okay, resemble. Because yes. you, uh, before race, so I was confused what is rest, but seems to resemble. Okay, this is yeah. right. It seems. I got it. Okay, good. You got it. Does anybody else have a question or you want to read? Because we are almost done here. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. Anybody else that did any writing? I don't. I see that some people who are in the class did not um, do any more writing. I'm not sure if you just didn't want to, or if you prefer to listen to the other people. Somebody wrote here: a good teacher has to feel empathy and to be responsible with his students. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Jose, do you want to finish re reading your last one there before we go? Um, well, yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the only one who's ready, so you might as well go for it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, the, the last question... About the uh, music, yeah? Yeah. Actually, I listen to all kind of music, and I pay attention to both things, to the lyrics and to the rhythm mm -hmm. of the song, but I think what makes you feel relaxed we're excited is the melody or the tone of the song. So it, uh, if it has a good melody, melody, no matter mm -hmm. if it's in another language that you don't know, it will touch my heart and make me feel good. I pay, I pay attention to that. Okay, good. That's great. I just made a couple of things while you were reading, just like some commas and things, but it sounds really good. Okay. Good job. Okay, so I... We are out of time. Does anybody have any questions before we go? Enrique, you were wondering, yeah, you were supposed to go to the document there and then uh, open it and then write. So if you see, if you look at the document, if you look at the page here, this, are, this is what all the students did tonight. Everybody did a good job um, writing. Some people chose to write some more than others. But um, if you want, I do writing classes probably once or twice a week. It's good if you want, if you need this type of um, training for yourself. So the most important thing, though, is to uh, write. So next time, if you want to come back to class and write some more, then I'm happy to help you and answer any questions and correct it so that you learn the proper phrasing. Okay, does anybody have any questions okay. before we go? No, I don't. Okay, great, Jose. Thank you, Paco. Thank you, Efrain. Nine. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, take care, everybody. We'll see you in another class, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully. Bye. See you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. Good night.